Hey guys, welcome to First Kids. Uh, it's not Sunday morning, but it may be Sunday morning to you or Saturday afternoon or whenever you get a chance to watch this. But we're so glad that you're here today with us and we're starting a new unit. And in this unit, we're going to look at Jesus as a teacher. Our lesson is going to be this week on the Sermon on the Mount. That's taken from Matthew chapter 5 and 7. You might want to get your Bible out and go and get to looking over that. When we explore Jesus' teaching, and we're going to explore the big picture question, is what did Jesus teach? And he taught about three things. He taught about God and his kingdom, and he taught that all scripture talks about him. So that's the big picture question for this, for this unit. And today I've invited one of our teachers that are in our church and she's going to come up and share with you a little bit about what she's doing right now. Y'all recognize this teacher? I know her well, but here's Miss Paula. Hello, everybody. Most of you know me as Miss P. Lane instead of Miss Paula Lane. Welcome. Um, I'd like to tell you that I've been out to the classroom today, and I'm trying to get stuff together. While you're on summer break, I'm actually doing stuff myself, trying to get things learned for next year so that I can be on top of stuff. But... Most of you just think we go home for the summer and just have a great time, but that's not what, all, what it's all about. Um, just like I have to learn to teach you, we have something that we go to here at church, which is the Bible. And we take the Bible and we learn all about Jesus being a teacher and all the thousands and thousands of people that he taught. And now Mr. Scott's going to come back and tell you the rest of the story today. So, like I said, today our lesson is about the Sermon on the Mount. You know, Jesus started his ministry. He only, uh, he only had his ministry. It was only about three years. And during that time, he traveled around, and lots of people came and listened to him. And one of his lessons that he taught happened on the Sermon on the Mount is one of those. Rather long discourse in the Bible. I mean, it's five through seven, the chapters. But in that, he taught us about his kingdom and what type of people we should be. And today we're going to look at that, and we're going to see that he started out with telling us about who would be blessed in the kingdom. And it's not the people that we typically see on earth that are blessed. You know, the people that we think of being blessed on earth are those that have lots of wealth, those that are, that are loud usually get noticed. But God said, and Jesus said, blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is a kingdom. Blessed are those who mourn. Blessed are those who are humble. Blessed are those that are merciful. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. And that's what Miss Paula was talking about a while ago is that in that Bible when we really hunger and thirst and we get down in that and really dig in it and learn what Jesus has for us. Blessed are the pure in heart. Blessed are the peacemakers. Not the ones that just go around trying to stir up things, but those that try to make peace. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness. You know, sometimes we think that we're persecuted today, but, you know, back in those days, there was some real persecution about Christians. You know, followers of Jesus, they sought them out to kill them. You know, Jesus also taught about the law, and he said that to enter heaven, a person must look righteous on the inside, not on the outside. See, Jesus sees their heart. And the only way that our heart can be made righteous is by us accepting him as Savior and allowing him to come in and clean our heart. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for them. You know, the law said, love thy neighbor as thyself. And he really threw a wrinkle on some of them when he said, hey, you need to be loving your enemies. That's something that's really hard to do for us as Christians. Don't collect treasures here on earth. You know, we can spend our whole life trying to get things here but they're just temporal that, and that means just for the moment you know the things that are eternal is salvation and Jesus is going we're going to be able to spend eternity and we've talked about that before in Sunday school how long is eternity forever and forever it's just like a big giant circle there's no beginning there's no end to eternity it's forever so our big picture question is what did Jesus teach when he was here on earth? He taught about God. 
his kingdom, and he taught that all Scripture is about him. He only spent about three years with his disciples, and he taught them many, many things. But one of the things that he also taught them was that, that when he left, he would send his spirit that would be with them and lead and guide and comfort them in everything that they do. You know, we get that spirit when we accept him as our Savior. And that is what will lead us to be able to function in this kind of upside-down way that we need to look at the world as a Christian. We know we look at the world differently than people that are in the world look at it. And the only way we can do that is through the Spirit of God speaking to us and showing us what to do and through His Word teaching us what we should do. Remember, Jesus was a teacher, and I can't wait to see what we do next week. See you all then.